you mentioned security earlier security and compliance frameworks are still evolving around agentic ai how does adaptive ops ensure mcp deployments that they stay compliant and adaptable as regulations change and also we are talking about global deployment every region every country they have their own regulations well i mean it it really even goes beyond that there's a whole set of new problems right um you've got data leakage which is an issue um which is a new issue right you want to make sure that certain kinds of data is not coming from behind uh your four walls and going out to an llm that you didn't authorize so you may kind of want a virtual air gapping which is a certain agentic workflow that might talk to high sensitive high sensitivity data like electronic healthcare records can only process it through a local inference or llm that you're running inside your four walls Whereas other agents that work with less sensitive data can basically talk to external frontier models as much as they want. In addition, you know, you want to basically have things like LLM guardrails in place, but it's, it's more than just the obvious things like, um, you know, your industry's, you know, uh, regulatory and compliance uh, situation that you have to worry about with guardrails. It's more than things about worrying about, you know, CSAM or, you know, inappropriate usage, you've got situational, uh, uh, you've got situations where like there's cultural changes, right? Or cultural differences. So if you're in Thailand, for example, it is against the law to basically say anything against the king of Thailand. And so you want the enterprises to be able to not just, you know, deploy, you know, some guardrails that were created externally, but to customize guardrails specifically for their use case and to be able to use those guardrails basically between agents, uh, between agents and their internal inference engines, between agents and external frontier models to make sure that it's in compliance and not just with the regulatory requirement, but cultural requirements, language requirements, corporate policy, you know, all of those things. And, and I think we're very early in learning cycle of what it means because in the past you didn't really have to worry about arbitrary you know, things happening, but now we do because AI is a non-deterministic uh, kind of system. 